Hello and welcome to day two of the 25 days of Christmas. Our Bible passage for today is from John 1, verse 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, glory as the only son from the Father, full of grace and truth. John chapter 1, verse 14. What an amazing thing that we hear about with Jesus, the word made flesh coming to dwell among us. The carol that we're looking at today is, O come all ye faithful, O come all ye faithful, come and see this newborn king, God who is dwelling among us. Now this, this carol was written somewhere around uh, 1743, 1740. We're not exactly sure because we're not exactly sure who wrote it. Uh, some people have associated it with King John the Fourth. Others um, have associated it with John Francis Wade, and some think it was actually a collaboration of several people to write it. And as far as the music, uh, composers like Handel and Gluck have been suggested to be the brains behind this melody, this this famous melody that we all love to sing. Now, in verse two of this carol. Another interesting thing with this is that it sounds very much like the creed that we profess every week in church. It very much resembles it. It says, uh, God from true God, the light from eternal or from light eternal, born of a virgin to earth. He comes only begotten son of God, the father. Right. And it's very much like the Nicene creed that we that we'll say there together to profess our faith in the church or when we're in church. Now, in verse four, it says something else. It says, word of the Father, now flesh appearing. Right? Word of the Father, now flesh appearing. And that comes from that John 1 passage that we read, where God, where the word was with God, the word was God, and that word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we've seen his glory. And what a glorious time it was when Christ was born, right? The angels were singing, shepherds rejoiced, and they went around the whole town proclaiming that Jesus had been born. And in this carol, we're asked to join them, to, to be part of the faithful that come and worship Christ, the newborn king. Now, in John, after it talks about Jesus becoming flesh, it also tells us that his people rejected him, that he was the rejected savior as well. But in this carol, in this carol, we are encouraged not to reject, but to come and worship him, to come and, and see this newborn king, to, to recognize that he is the word become flesh. And while we can't physically go and visit Jesus in a manger, which would be totally awesome, we can join them through faith. We can worship Christ, the newborn king. We can declare who Jesus is throughout our towns. We can worship and celebrate and rejoice just like they did, even singing songs of praise like, O come all ye faithful. So come. Come, all you faithful, with great joy, and give Jesus all the glory, the Word made flesh, our King eternal. Amen? Amen. All right, I will see you tomorrow.